Manton Colliery produces more than a million tonnes of coal every year. And much of it will find its way into the power stations of the East Midlands, although some of it certainly ends up in people's homes, perhaps in the coal fire that you're sitting in front of at the moment. The seams of coal run for many miles underground, so although we are in Nottinghamshire, in fact this is the South Yorkshire area of British coal. Now there's a great traditional spirit amongst the mining community, perhaps because of the comradeship and the teamwork which is so essential when you're underground. That community spirit was certainly put to the test in the miners' strike of 1984-85. While some local collieries have closed since then, Manton is still very much in business and employing as many as 800 men. Well, our next hymn has a local flavour because the musical arrangement is by a workshop lad, Andrew Burnham, who grew up and in fact worshipped here at the Priory where his father David was organist. Andrew is now Vicar of Carrington and he arranged this hymn for the centenary of the diocese, Soul of My Saviour. Eddie Roper was a coal miner for 20 years, latterly in the village of Whitwell, where he now works in the local community centre. I came to Whitwell Pit in 1974. There was a great happening of comradeship and friendship in the mine itself until it came to the strike of 84. How deep and bitter were the divisions between people then? Very deep and bitter. The people. It was brother against brother, and some were drifting back for reasons, monetary reasons and other reasons. But the bitterness in me was terrible to those that had gone back. We felt really let down by his own friends and his own workmates and things, that they'd gone back to work. So you did go back eventually, and then what happened? Well, we went back eventually. We, the, the remaining few that stopped out all the 12 months walked down the pit lane together and went back to work, as I expected. <clears throat> they announced it in April of 86 that the pit was closing in June of 86. How have things changed for you since then? In the 12 months going, from going back after strike till the uh, closing of the pit, my wife went to see Billy Graham at uh, Sheffield. I refused, point blank, that I didn't want anything to do with that. And later, my wife went to, to these meetings and that, and I went along just to see what was happening. The first one had no great impression of me, but I had this urge to go again. And after three weeks, I committed my life to Jesus. How much difference has that made to you? It was a slow process of, I immediately felt something, a great love inside me, but 
it was a slow process of being able to forgive people. It was a build up in me as the love of Jesus in me came out. And, and then I felt I could just forgive everyone. Would you go on strike again, Eddie, in the same circumstances? If the same circumstances arose again, I like to live my life according to the gospel and I would see God. And if I thought it was correct, I would do the same all over again without the bitterness, hopefully. Now, why have you chosen your particular hymn? I've chosen the hymn, This is the Day the Lord Has Made, because every morning now, as I get up, I think this is the day the Lord has made. And I rejoice and be glad in it. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, then now's a great time to do it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss a thing.